Hi, Virgo. So here we are starting a reading for June. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining me. And I hope if you can take a moment to please like, share, comment, subscribe, that would be awesome if you choose to. So what's going on? I want to get an overall energy pulled for you, Virgo. And then I'd like to get into it and find out why. So what is the overall energy for Virgo? My gorgeous Virgo friends. For the month of June. What's going on? I'm going to take... Oh, what's up? you got like two different things popping. Okay. What is going on with you? Inquiring minds want to know. The garden and the gate. It looks to me like you're standing at crossroads. You are definitely looking to see, okay, this is a garden and there's a gate. And it's like, do I cross it? Do I allow people into it? Do I allow people out of it? What's going on? I think that things are growing, meaning that they're going okay where you're at. But you're considering walking away. You're sitting on a fence, standing on a fence, something to that effect. Um, you know, you guys know by now, like the grass is not always greener on the other side. It looks like things, you got it pretty good. I mean, it looks really pretty. Things are growing. Things are thriving. I think that there's a lot of clouds up above. Maybe your mind is a little bit clouded. Also, it could be like having to do with what you're eating, diet, things like that. Maybe you're unclear about a situation or a person. Um, but I think, I mean it's really lush and vibrant where you're at. So I would think twice about leaving. That's just me. Um, Virgo, look at the lattice here that almost looks like a cutout from a gazebo. So it's almost like maybe it's true traditional to picture perfect. Sometimes I've been in that spot of my life where I kind of want to mess things up simply because they're going too well or I'm bored. I don't know. That's a vibe I get. So then I have you walking away. And it's almost like with a little smirk, kind of like, hmm, here I go again. Or I'm leaving or something to that effect. But definitely having to do with barriers and gates. I feel like you don't want to be contained and that's fine. Um, just be careful of what you're leaving behind that you don't leave with regret, okay? That just has to be said. Um, pink, she's really wrapped up in pink. And it's interesting because I feel like that's almost like, okay, I'm in need of adventure or love. Like I'm leaving for another love. So maybe you're leaving your partner um, in order to pursue another romance elsewhere. And I feel like the look on her face is a little bit smarmy. Like, mm-hmm, that's me, bye. So I don't know what's going on. If this is not romantic, then that possibly could be that you're standing at the gate looking to do a job change, okay? And you're like, things are flourishing now, like you're getting good money or whatever the case may be, but for whatever reason, you're not happy. Okay, the thinking woman, what's that about? And then the sixth chakra. So we're going to look at this. We also have the healer of the ages. I feel like if this is you walking away. So seven, eight, nine. Yeah, you're right at the brink of, you know what? I'm just kind of done with this. I don't feel like you have a very clear idea of where you're headed or what that's going to look like, but you're headed there anyways, regardless. The thinking woman, this could be you. Man, woman doesn't make a difference. Or they can factor in. I feel like they're somebody's put a lot of thought into this and i see stairs so this is like do i climb them do i continue um moving on i feel like this person is very well versed very well spoken i do see butterflies of transformation here i see butterflies where you're at currently by the way if you want to save this relationship or the situationship it would be a good idea because it's really beautiful there anyways and why hit the restart button if you have a good thing just might be sense Virgo, um, this person, I feel like this is a, a different person. This other person has been doing a lot of thinking and they are, I feel like they're very poised um, in the middle or they've transformed. I feel like they're well-read, they study a lot. There's a ton of books down here also. 
and the thinking woman has done a lot of healing and there's a lot of barriers so just like this barrier is like a gate two gates back here this barrier is like brick like you're not you're gonna have to do a lot in order to overcome these bricks okay so thinking woman she's just in her head that's all i can say six chakra is about following your intuition you probably know a lot you have a sixth sense about things um archangel metatron might be important to you but this is all about your third eye maybe awakening maybe you're having some hits and in intuition virgo about what is going on in the world in your own life in your own body anything like that yeah i feel like you're deciding to walk away from a situation here i feel like that's not the first time you've done it um i think that you kind of feel in some way victimized by it and I don't really understand that. Um, I'm going to sneeze. Oof, hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyways, um, so I feel like, you know, this is like, okay, I want to show you. Look how lush this picture is and look how barren this picture is. It's almost like you're saying, you know what, there's just nothing here for me. And um, it's all barren. There's nothing. There's no juice in life there. But I feel like you're not really looking. I just hope that you don't regret leaving if you decide to leave whatever situation, work, love, whatever, a marriage, a partnership, anything like that. Because um, I've got the Ten of Swords. This feels like a lot of betrayal, a lot of um, backstabbing, a lot of harsh words, a lot of... Walking on dry land is the only way I can put it, okay? So your sixth chakra is being ignited. I feel like it's time to listen. Um, listen to your third eye. Um, a good thing to do would be to de decalcify that. Um, I always forget how to pronounce it. Pine I call it pineal gland, but it's not. Penal gland, okay? But regardless of how it's pronounced, um, go ahead and look it up. It's going to be a good idea for you to get off of all fluoride, get off of that crap, look it up yourself, and see um, if what I'm saying is true for you, if it resonates. Because once you decalcify that, it's going to really help you see things clear with your third eye. Okay? Okay, the Empress. Somebody could be impregnated by you, or you yourself could be pregnant. This is not natural pregnancy. This could be a nod towards something that you are birthing. You're walking away to create something, something new, something different, something that you've thought about for quite a while and something near and dear. So this is like something that's taken a lot of your time, energy, emotion, a lot of your spiritual, emotional nutrients, but I don't feel like you've shared it with anyone because here, this person, they're by themselves, acting, thinking, and doing by themselves. Um, but this has been a long time in coming period of gestation you could have been planning this move for about six to nine months what else do we need to know virgo so mysterious what's going on hmm virgo why is the empress here please heartbreak so that's not good i don't know if this is you i feel like it is you um or if this is someone else but this is having a lot of heartache heartbreak a lot of pain feeling victimized or being the victimizer however the shoe fits that's great if it doesn't fit your story then it's not your story but i'm gonna tell you like this tree is just old old tree it's barren it's not gonna grow again um she even has a tattoo of the three of swords here she's screaming in pain but if you look closely she is actually holding this broken heart close to her arm like she's saying she doesn't want it it could be you saying i don't want to visit my broken heart again or i don't want to break hearts or whatever but you're really attached to that cycle and so look at all the storm clouds behind a lot of storms um just very attached and addicted i feel like there's an addiction to heartbreak or um breaking hearts or having your heart broken like you magnetize that towards yourself i don't know it's kind of weird two of pentacles this is you juggling somebody else somebody else juggling you juggling two situations but also more importantly this is about your stability okay your root chakra and your crown chakra 
and these two right here are kind of rocking back and forth i feel like she's kind of juggling them a little bit and that is about just like not being totally stable having a mind of okay spiritually my mind is here but my resources are here being in two different places and maybe that's why you're deciding or sitting on a fence and thinking about leaving okay so i don't know i feel like anytime that you think about what's best for you in a in a i don't know in a tangible like what gives you security oh well it's cheaper to keep her or you know it's better to leave or any of those things because you're thinking of money you're going to do yourself harm and other people as well so i understand that the land is barren behind you virgo i don't dispute that i would just suggest that maybe there's a different way to look at things before you make a move if the story fits you okay again this could be job or relationship what else do we need to know for our beautiful virgos mm, you've got choices virgo don't worry about a thing you've got a lot of choices okay lots of choices I feel like two viable choices because they have the ladders next to them. Two really good choices. The only, the other ones are really just dreaming. Pie in the sky. A little bit like, well, I could, but it's not really what I'm going to do. That kind of a vibe. Yeah, okay. I was going to say the last thing, but I saw a really good card, so I'm going to leave you with that one too. This one right here is you cutting through all the BS. You become, you're a warrior. I feel like you have fought through so much. I feel like there's an air of detachment from you. I feel like you're unique. Even how you dress, how you look, you're unique. Um, all this blue is about your throat chakra being frozen over. So maybe you haven't spoken your truth in a while. But your truth could be really cutting. Okay. But I think that you're looking at things from an analytical perspective. And you're going to do what you got to do. I feel like you have a lot of medicine in you insofar as um, rattlesnake medicine. If you look, he's got this like rattlesnake charm here. Um, some of you guys could be native, but again, you're getting a lot of messages from spirit from different birds. I feel like you just naturally, you're in tune with your third eye, okay? And last but not least, you have a lot of admirers. So should you choose to leave a person, you are not going to be left without choices. You have a ton of options, okay? We all know that. Virgos always have a lot of options. Again, if this is about a job, you have a ton of options as well. Two really good options, and you are looked at very favorably. So that I will leave you. I hope that you are well. And we will talk soon. Thank you, Virgo.